Hey everybody, this is Pastor Kevin. Thanks for joining with me. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us and hear us. Let's pray together the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And let's confess together our faith through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Let us pray. God of all peoples, your arms reach out to embrace all those who, you call, who call upon you. Teach us, as disciples of your Son, to love the world with compassion and constancy that your name may be known throughout the earth, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now let us lift our hearts and voices together in prayer for one another, for our community, for our families, for all those things that, that burden our spirits, that we might hand them over to a Lord uh, who loves us and who promises to answer, who promises to bear our loads with us and to make them lighter. Let us pray. Almighty Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for this wonderful gift of life that you have blessed us with. Help remind us always that this life has been given to us as just that, a gift. This world that we live in has been given to us as just that, a gift. Lord, remind us always of the great treasure that we possess in both of these things. Lord, remind us all the more that even these great treasures are overshadowed in the, in the treasure of Jesus Christ, in whom there is eternity in whom there is light and life and every good and perfect gift. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of our families. We ask that you would bless us in our relationships to one another. Help us to receive this gift with thanksgiving, to love one another as we ought to love one another. Help us to build a relationship with one another just as you have a relationship to your Son, that we would know one another perfectly and clearly, that we would have a relationship built upon grace, mercy, and forgiveness, and not one built upon an expectation of perfection. For the truest and, and purest form of love, Lord, is that which can look past our faults, that type of love that you've given us in Christ. Bless our families with that love, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for our community and for our state, our country, um, for all of the world, Lord. We ask that you would bring peace. In uncertain and unstable times, Lord, we look to find an anchor and we find it in you alone. We know that the unity that you have blessed mankind with in Christ Jesus is enough unity. It is the right unity, is sufficient. Turn our hearts to that unity. Turn our hearts to your Christ and towards one another through him so that we would no longer seek unity in political ideals or beliefs uh, that, that only serve to separate and to further divide people. 
but rather give us your son that he might bring us together just as he promises to do at last at the fulfillment of all things. Give us a foretaste of that, of that peace, that joy, that love, that harmony and unity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We lift up to you all of the earthly needs of this life, for those who struggle to make ends meet, for those who are unemployed or underemployed. Lord, we ask that you would provide them with the work uh, that would be a blessing not only to them, but to those whom they would serve, that you would give them a cause uh, to get up each day, uh, knowing that through that work they would be blessed and that others would be blessed. Lord, we pray for those uh, who need help, both uh, emotionally or mentally, um, those who are struggling with loneliness, with anxiety, with doubts and fears uh, that overwhelm, those who are struggling with the separation and the isolation that these times have brought about, for those who are struggling with illness or injury, Lord, we pray that you would bring them healing, that you would strengthen their bodies. Lord, we pray as well for all of the countless ways that we feel unease and unrest, and yet we don't fully understand why it should be so. We know that you've promised that through your Holy Spirit you would look into our hearts, that your Spirit intercedes for us when we're only able to groan. And so we present to you everything that is within us, knowing that you see all, know all, and that you are powerful above all things. And so grant us your healing. Grant us the knowledge of your presence. Grant us faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all these things and everything else you see that we need, we pray that you would grant them through the name and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And let's finish up with a short prayer. Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray you to so guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord God Almighty order your day and your deeds in, it, in his grace. He may he bless you with peace abundantly. Friends, until I see you again, God bless and keep each and every one of you.